Hey there, it's Joe Johnson of Cancer Dudes Live More, and today I want to talk about fasting. I've actually been on a fast for the past three days, drinking only water and herbal tea. How this came about was I just ate way too much over the weekend, and I woke up on Monday and I really knew I wasn't that hungry. I was listening to my body. I haven't felt hungry since the weekend. Now, why might you want to fast? Well, fasting has a lot of benefits. It's been around since the days of Hippocrates. All the old spiritual traditions mention it. And it really gives your digestive tract a rest. Your digestive tract doesn't have to digest food, so it has a chance to heal itself. It has a little break. Also, fasting promotes autophagy, so all the cells in the body are cleaning up all the debris, cleaning up the junk, really eating all the junk that they don't need. The third benefit if you have cancer is that cancer cells feed on glucose and glutamine. And if you're not eating glucose or glutamine, those cancer cells don't have anything to eat, so you're starving the cancer cells. Now, Dr. Thomas Seafried is a cancer researcher on the metabolism of cancer cells. He recommends a fast of seven days every year in order to promote this. So say you want to fast, what are some steps you can take? The first thing before the fast is really be increasing the amount of healthy fats in your diet and decreasing the amount of sugars, grains, starches. Because you want to keep your blood sugar a lot more stable. I know when I had low blood sugar uh, a couple years ago, I was eating a lot of these things and I really would have never been able to fast more than a couple hours. Second tip you want to do is, you know, just whatever, wherever you're at right now, just push a little bit more. Maybe you want to fast for a couple hours maybe for one day at a time, you know, see what you can do. And my third tip as far as increasing energy when you're doing the fast, make sure to get water so you're hydrated. You might want to put lemon juice in there, a little bit of sea salt I like to do, pink salt. I also use uh, B vitamins and products called Allopro and Allomanin from Premier Research Labs. These are great for increasing energy and healing the digestive tract. I've also been uh, spending time outside and uh, focusing on meditation and self-care. You, if you don't want to do a full fast, you might want to incorporate herbal tea or broths, green juices or smoothies, just to kind of help you transition a little bit. But really make sure you're taking care of yourself, getting some gentle exercise. I've been doing some light yoga, been uh, taking some cold showers to keep my energy up if I ever feel like my energy is low and really spending time outside, getting sunshine, and getting all the nourishment that I need from ways other than food. So go ahead and post in the comments, what's the longest time period you've gone without food? I look forward to hearing about your experiences, and I'll talk to you again probably after I've eaten something.